Jerry? Jerry? Jerry! Jerry! Hello! Hi! Oh, hi! It's you guys! Oh, oh look! look. <laughs> Wait, look, it's people! It's, 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 it's our friends! It's like an episode of Blue's Clues. It's our friends! Today we're gonna be making. Hi! <laughs> Just fuck this video on Today we're going to be making cupcake bath bombs, Woo! which I found on the interwebs. Yeah, yeah. so I mean, we're going to be a very diverse channel, so everybody <laughs> The ingredients, Jerry. hey! Okay, the ingredients that you're going to need is coconut oil, which actually you're supposed to use almond oil, so I would suggest that, but yeah, we have we coconut do. oil, they so didn't have almond at the store. Coconut oh. oil is really good for you, though, as well. You're to need food coloring, we got which neon. we got neon, um, purple, green, pink, and blue, and also we got black for me because I want to bathe in my own soul. Yeah. Um, Same. Pure vanilla extract. Yes. Because why not? <gasps> cream of tartar. Only one. But, but wait, yes. there's more. We have a cream of tartar. If you know what I mean, like, you yeah. know, like if you want some of that catch cream me tartar. I'm out there with this cream tartar. Oh my. We're gonna need Epsom salt Ooh. and sprinkles if you're feeling crazy. Yeah. What the fuck am I doing? Cupcake things. 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 I would not suggest Doily paper. Things. Shut. I would not suggest um, paper yeah, cupcake no. things because you're putting these in the bath. With the tin foil. You're gonna need two bowls. Yeah. And then, and then you're gonna need measuring like, cups. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're gonna need four mini bowls because we're gonna separate it and put different colors. Okay. This is a yep. one cup cup and this is a half cup. Thank I you for your contribution! You also need baking soda, but I seem to have misplaced that. I there told it is. you we should have got- Oh, there oh, it is. Yeah, she's the baking soda. And baking Ooh. soda. Okay, so what we need to do is combine the dry ingredients and Wait, the guys, bowl. you guys forgot one ingredient that I feel like really need. Cassidy with It's a about. garlic! It's so cute! It's a garlic! We're not putting garlic she's, in the bath. Oh, she's doing it again. No, no, not today. No. What okay. we're gonna need, What we're gonna need is two cups of baking soda first. Yes. Okay, in one large bowl. A, a Cassidy, do you think that you could hand me a one cup measuring cup? Here you are, my darling. <laughs> No. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. That's a lot of smoke. We're making coffee in the back room. That's what that means. Okay. I get it. <laughs> I had coffee today. For most people, that would be fine, but for Kate here, it's not. And remember how we used to use the thing to. Yes! Ooh, I never you need seen to use a knife before. to even it out. However, I do not have enough. That's the whole reason. One cup, two things. cup, red cup, blue cup, put it in the thing. Plop. Okay. And then we're gonna no! We need another cup. We need two cups. Oh. Okay. Put that thing in the thing. Put that thing back where it came from. So <laughs> help me. Wait, did I ever it's tell you? I, I it's need to tell you guys that my good. first crush that I ever had was Mike Wazowski from Monsters Inc. You know, I think that that explains a lot about <laughs> you. Remember the the young Wait, man what? that used to date freshman year? It literally, we would all talk and I would come up to you guys and you guys would just be like, put that thing back where it came from or so help me. That was Carlos. I know. I didn't want to say his name, but yeah, Carlos. Come on. I'm dump that in there. Wait, no, don't. What? Don't dump it in there. I did. What? It One should. cup cream of tartar. At this point, it should look something like this. Hey guys, it, there's just one ingredient. Just a whole in there. lot of baking soda. Some people hey are very guys, bad at cooking. Hey guys, I just got me, so. back from the depths of nowhere. Just so you guys know, great. You should go back there. I'm usually the one that's a jerk, but today you're being the jerk. We better have a cup. How much do we need? A, a cup. cup. That's a lot. Ah. Do we I mean, I think that's enough cream of tartare, to be honest. What's next, Chef Kate? Chef. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was a T at the end of Chef. <laughs> one half. Just pour the whole thing in there. One cup. Dump it in. No, one cup of cream of tartare. No, that's a half cup. Yeah, because... Cutting everything in half will fuck. <laughs> You're spilling the cream of tartare everywhere. You know that shit's expensive. I wish I could be in college right now. I can have an actual career, but I'm doing this. Next, you're gonna need um one half cup of Epsom salt. Yay! One half. Just letting you know, we're actually cutting this in half for ourselves, but it's one half for you guys. So, is that good? Is that even? 
Fun fact about um, Epsom salts, they restore your magnesium levels and when you're stressed out you can lose some of that. So I think I mentioned that in my Lush video, but some of the Lush stuff has Epsom salts in it, but you could also, if you want to be like cheaper, you could, or if you just you could just use like the whole friggin' thing. Now that you have combined your dry ingredients, you are to add some garlic. What? Get it Get out! How cute it is! Get it out! You guys don't understand me, I'm a visionary. Whatever. She's doing it again. Two tablespoons of almond oil. Oh, well, it's kind of like getting everywhere. Nah, so now, you're gonna need one half teaspoon of vanilla essential oil. Send. This stuff is very dangerous and it might smell good, but it, it will burn your throat, apparently. Yeah. I always, when I'm cooking, I always smell the vanilla. Now you need. Thing. Yeah, some... it smells so it good. Smells like. Carlin! Oh no, no! Okay, now you need a three fourths tablespoon I'll be right of back. water. Half of three fourths. Well, how, there's six eighths in three fourths, so it'd be three eighths. So. Yeah, but we need like a fourth and then a half. Look at them how to cut down recipes. I think so. So if we're doing teaspoons. six tablespoons of three fourths of a cup, if we cut it in half, it would be six tablespoons. So just six tablespoons of water. You're sure? Yes. Okay. Positive. She says positive. <laughs> we got um we got like the big clunky sprinkles like these are my guys, favorite and, and we also got sparkle sprinkles. Oh, I wish Robbie Rotten was here. <laughs> Get the fuck out. You um stir the wet ingredients, Cassidy. Get the fuck back here. We are number one. I'm back. We know. <laughs> we know this. <laughs> what you do is you slowly add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients while stirring with your hands. So if too much water is added, you add at once, and I'll stir. Too much water is added at once, the baking soda will start okay, to fizz. So you need to just like huh. Oh, you need to stir with your hands, so like it would be Ooh, better that's if kneading. Like... Kneading. Kneading. Sounds like needing. my ex. Needy. Probably watching this video. Uh, I hope he is. Casually like drizzle. Yeah, that's the ticket. Why am I hand kneading this? Because you're supposed to. Is that what it says? Yes. Or else it's gonna start like fizzing all up, and then it's gonna ruin everything. Ooh, it's it is hard, hard and fizzy. She's a kneading the dough. She's a kneading the dough. Kneading the dough. She's a kneading the dough. Say it. No. Say it. You gotta say it. I'm a kneading the dough. I'm, I'm not gonna say it. Dough. Please, you have to say it. Please, for our viewers. Why should I say it when I'm doing it? This is the fold over technique. Fold over. Fold over. Spoon. Ooh, it's getting all clumpy. It's, getting, it's gonna be a fun party up in here. Oh, this is so weird. Hold on, stop adding for a second. Okay, go for it. Ah, ah. You're not, it's not supposed to fizz. Guys, calm down. Yeah, she's Cassidy, stop. Oopsie daisy. It looks like mashed potatoes. Ah, it's not supposed to be like this. No, because you mold, like, you mold it. Okay, add a little more. It's fine. It's not fizzing anymore. There's, like, literally, like... It's supposed to be like sand. What are we doing? Let's consult the recipe again. Yeah. yeah. I want to put more ingredients in. No, because you, you might mess it up. What if it is supposed to be like this? It's not! It's not! I can tell you right now. It's not. If it explodes, we're gonna... Yeah, because if we put like more of the sandy type stuff in there, yeah, like I feel like if it sets, it'll be fine. <laughs> Two girls, one bowl of mashed potatoes. <laughs> Wait. Ah! Wait, Wait, are we supposed to put the food coloring in? Yeah. That's yeah, that's after the Hold on. Oh, after all of this nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Once you fucked up enough, then. <laughs> us again. Put them in different um, colors. <laughs> Try to evenly distribute it. Yeah. Um, well, as best as you can. And I, think I know it, that's not our thing. I think it's supposed to be like maybe sticky so that you can like mold it better. Jules is crawling on the floor now.
the shot. Off to the stump. You got a little piece of this little mixture on your forehead. Oh wow, isn't that fantastic? A new fashion statement by Kate. Look, it's a new fashion statement by Kate. If you know what I mean. I hate my life enough already, Cass. You don't need to make it worse. Okay, this one's purple. You know, it looks magenta in my opinion. There's this blue one. Or it's turquoise, and then there's lime green, and then there's this pink. You know, while they're not looking, I'm gonna sneak the garlic in here, so. No, 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 no! I think I'm gonna do the little green one, because, ooh, I think that's fun. <laughs> what is that? It's, it's Shrek! Let's see, one, two. Buckle my shoe. Mm -hmm. But we totally messed up the recipe anyway now, so yeah, it doesn't okay. matter. We mess up everything. Next I'm gonna we're gonna do pink over here. Wipe this off with a paper towel. Finally, my absolute favorite color, we're going to do purple. Just do two. Okay. Cause it seems to be strong. <laughs> it's like a light purple. Looks like I think this is the perfect fit. Basically what you do is you take a spoonful from each one and evenly distribute it, put blue down, put green down, put and then like until you fill it and um after a while, like it'll look like this at first and then after a while, after it's sat in there for a while, it'll raise up and look like an actual cupcake. And then Alright, so we're gonna have a fun time with these sprinkles here. Alright, let's go. This one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a mess. That's, that's one way to do it. The more colorful, the better, I say. That one has a lot of sprinkles on it. Not this one, the other one. That one. Yeah. So, guys, if you want to be like one of the like a DIY person, but you don't have confidence in yourself, just do it. It'll turn out fine in the end, even if it looks like a train wreck at first. Everything we do on this channel is a train wreck. Make sure to wash your hands. Yeah. So we have cupcakes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, subscribe to see whatever the heck this, this was. was. And yes. you know, I hope you I hope these turn out better for you than it did for us. But they, I mean, they actually did and ended up looking pretty pretty cool. Okay. Like I said, stick in the uh, refrigerator for 24 to 48 hours mm -hmm. and then put them in your bathtub and look at a rainbow miracle oh fuck <laughs>